Okay, my friends, very quick. This is what I call the spur lock. You see that little tab right there? That's a rock, all right? But it, it was at one time a piece of meat. And that is the attachment, which is just right here. This is a body part. And I think it might be like a shoulder, I don't know what. But this flap right here is the same as this flap right here. Now, what happens is this flap mixes with the fluids that goes to the next bag and each one of these is surrounded with a membrane which is just literally a bag of fluids and those fluids protect the contents which is the fascia protects which is basically the membranes protect what's inside now this fluid chamber that surrounds it, it's a fluid filled highway, surrounds the whole organ, has to come out of here somehow and go to the next organ. And it does through this here. And I'm going to show you the little the, the little spots that goes through. Now, in addition to that, this there's a circle right here, which is an extremely tough anchor that holds this body part in your body so it doesn't get ripped out and torn away. Now I'm going to show you that and right now that's not understood is, is this spur lock or this particular spot right here. That's coming back from the spur lock. So what you have is a ton of really tough fiber stuff where it all comes together. You see how it all's coming together like this? You see it? And it comes right into this area here, which is the tab that latches it in. And there's a whole batch of holes around it. And they all lock in to the muscle, I mean to the fascia that goes out this way. I'll show you another, well I have it in a microscope as a matter of fact. Let's take a look at it in the microscope. And I will show you this, and I'll show you the two little spots where the fluids pass. Now I want to know, is every bag's fluid the same? Gil doesn't know this either, but he could find out because he can do autopsies and take the contents of these fluids and have them analyzed. It may cost some money, we may have to donate some money to them or whatever. Somebody's have to grant to do this, but each, each one of your organs has, I believe, a different type of chemistry. And that different type of chemistry comes out of this, well let me show you where it comes out of. All right, this is just pictures. Now, I'm going to go up to the top here. We have to have the lights off so that we can see this. That is actually the, the rock that I was just showing you. Now, let me turn up a little bit of the light so you can see it a little better. You see those two spots right there? That's where the fluids go from this to the next membrane. It's on all of them. I have found it on all of the organs. Alright, so this is where the fluids transfer. That's, oh, that's all I can tell you. Now, if you go back from here, back into the, the uh, let me back out of here so we can see. This is where all that fascia comes together here, a tough, tough fascia. And then right back there, right here, right there is where it all locks in. That is tough. You, you, it's gnarly, tough, tough, tough as hell. Now, what happens after that? Let me back out of here so you can see the whole thing at once. suppose I have to turn the light up a little bit, focus, give me time, give me time. All right, now. All right, I, that's the spot right there. That's the spot, hold on, let me get my little, that's the spot. It locks it right in here, I, I call that the spur lock. And then coming forward, you come down to this tip right here, which is almost like another lock. You see the circle? And these are the two tabs that send the fluid into the next body part. This is some kind of muscle. And it's on all of them. Now, going back from here, all the way back, 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 it starts to flare out, and you lose this tough, tough stuff. 
for a while, you got it. You see that? That's a connective tissue piece. These are all connective tissues running back. And then they sort of flare out and flatten out into the fascia. And then you have just a meat and fascia back here. And that's precisely what you have in a living creature's body. Same thing happens. All right, there's a, here there's, is where this thing invests somewhere in here. You really can't see it, and, I, and that's why Gil has never seen it. But once they, once they harden up, boy, you can't miss it. That thing is just as tough as tough can be, that one spot. That one spot right there. That is a tough, tough spot. Right there. See how gnarly looking it is? And that's the thing you spit out when you're eating chicken. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. But th this is what it is. That's the spur lock right there. Now, what does that do? It locks these two chicken breasts into the body. So you can, you know, you can do all kinds of flopping around and doing whatever a chicken does. And these things don't get flopped away and ripped out. Now, you see how it's coming in here? And I showed you uh, my exact same thing. And there are going to be two little tabs in here, which move this fascia, whatever the fluids that were in here. And it's completely surrounded. Now, this looks like there's no more fascia here, but it's there or it's been removed. But the real tough stuff, the connective tissue that holds it tight, that anchors it here, it sort of diminishes and then you turn it into just a natural gooey little fascia that surrounds it, which is the membrane. And that's the stuff, normally you spit that all out. <laughs> okay, very quick. Gil Headley is a renowned anatomist and educator. He's, in, he's the fascia guy. I've been communicating him with for, for years. I'm not putting any words in his, mouth, in his mouth, but I want him to investigate what I call the spur lock. I'm going to show you what it is. At this point, he hasn't really seen the details, and I'm hoping he'll watch this and we can discuss this, because this has implications far beyond just a new body part that was not known. And I will explain to you why it's far beyond that. Now, if I'm right about this being completely separated bags, well, I know they are, of membranes. If the fluids in that membrane are different than the fluids in the other bags, that's a place to start to understand why invasion is happening. The fluids that are in the, the membranes are the immune system. Literally, they keep from invasion. They keep that membrane pristine so that it's not open to penetration by these tumors. Every single cancer that I know of is an invasive bit of chemistry that's getting inside there in a biology and then start to live inside your good tissue. The membrane says, no, you can't come through here. And if you do, well, then you're good to go. And then you get stage four cancer. They start living in your organs and you get these tumors. All right, now Gill's more into, you know, the, the fascia as being structural support, pain, fluidity, movement, all of that. Yes, 100% for sure. However, it also is the protective membrane that coats all your organs. Every single one of your organs is separated into another bag. And I believe that the spur lock, which I will show you, transfers those fluids from one bag to the next. And every bag is its own separate organ. It's coated. Every organ is coated by its own independent bag, and then the fluids from that bag have to go into some other bag. Are, the, are they exactly the same fluids in both bags? I don't think so. I think the bags change fluids depending upon what's inside the organ. The organ could be very caustic, acidic, whatever it is. And the, the membrane has to deal with that biology. So I want to see Gill take samples of the different organ membranes and see if the chemistry is the same or different. That's what I'd like to see.